Welcome to part two. Let's take a quick glance at what we have going on right now so you understand what we're going to be refactoring towards. So if we check out our source directory, we have these fields, right? We have things like body and date, description and extra. However, right now, inside our press file parser class, if we scroll down a little bit, you will see that right now we're kind of dynamically grabbing a class. However, we are forcing it to this Vicom press fields namespace. And so a user would not really be able to add their own classes. Let's say that I was using this package and I wanted to have some new type of field. Let's call it author. Say that I wanted to have that as one of my fields. Right now, I couldn't add this to the package the way that it currently stands. So what I really want to do is just have these default fields kind of be my base and then any fields that the user has get added in and furthermore, if they added a new field with the same name, then it would substitute and use the user's field instead. And what I mean by that is that if they want to take care of title in a separate way, they would simply have to add their own title class. And during the parsing process, it would use that title class instead of our default title class. So let's take care of all of that in this episode. So to get started, we need to go back to the new press class. As we said before, this class will handle our entire project. So it should be responsible and it should know what fields are available to it. So protected fields, and we're going to set this as an empty array. So what this will hold is just an array of all of the available fields. We, of course, will use these fields to generate our parser instead of dynamically fetching them out of a particular namespace as we've been doing right now. So how do we add fields to this fields. Well, we're going to take care of that through a method, public function fields. And of course, that's going to accept some fields. And we're going to force that to be an array. Now in this method, we are going to override whatever is in the fields method. And we're going to array merge whatever was passed in with what's already there. The first array is this fields. And as a second array is fields, the ones that got passed into this method. So we're going to save the results of this array merge between the current fields and fields that are passed in into this fields. So every time this gets called, it will simply just append into this array. So how should this be called in our press provider? I would consider this a resource. So let's make a new method here called register fields. And so register fields, add the method register field will simply call press our facade fields and we're going to pass in an array of fields so let's start in order right the very first one is body so so we don't have to import it i'm going to precede everything with fields body class the next one is date date Give me a couple of seconds to get all these done. And there you go. We have all of our fields in place. So when our press based service provider boots up, it will simply add all of our available fields that we have out of the box into that array. The next thing we have to take care of is a way of actually retrieving those fields. So let's make a new public function and I want to call it available fields. And this is actually what we're going to call when we need to fetch this array. So this is just going to return this fields. All right, so let's go back to our press file parser and modify this logic here. Now calculating this new class name is going to take some logic. So I want to encapsulate that in its own method. I'm going to call it get field. I think that's an appropriate name, get field. And of course, we're going to need to pass in the field. Let's implement that now. We'll keep that private. So what needs to happen here? Well, we need to loop through all of the available fields. So let's call press through the facade available fields. Right? We know that. And that's going to be in available field. And so in here, I actually want to use the reflection class. Now, this is probably the fastest and easiest way to be able to see if a class has the appropriate properties for us to call it. So let's new up a new reflection class is the one that I actually want to use. And we're going to pass it in available field. 
So that gives us a reflection class object. And the reflection class objects has a lot of methods that we can use to determine the namespace or name or base name of our classes. So now it's a simple if statement. If class, and the method we're looking for is get short name is equal to field. Now remember that available field will be the full namespace, not just the class. However, we cannot assume that it's going to be our VicGonBT press because it may be the user's field. So that's why we have to grab it this way. And then in here, so if it is, so it means we matched it, then we're going to return class get name. We do need to import this reflection class. So let's do that now. And there we go. Okay. So that part is done. So now during the new process field part of press file parser, we're going to call this get field. Get field will dig into our press and find any available fields. Now remember those available fields get set through our base service provider. Then we iterate through each one of those and try to find the appropriate one. So if we are able to find one, then of course, we're going to go ahead and call the process method on it. And if we're not, we're simply going to default back to our extra class. Okay. So it looks like we are just about ready. Let me give it a once over here. So get field gets called. Okay. Now I did miss a little something here. So field actually needs to be title cased. So title case, and we had that in our previous implementation. So the title case is what we're going to pass into here. Okay. That is looking good. All right. Let's give it a shot. Back in my test project, I'm going to run PHP artisan press process. And now let's boot up PHP artisan tinker and see what we have. I'm going to grab all the posts and there we go. We are still working. Now to prove that I'm going to pull up the body and for now, I am going to simply return. It is working just to prove that we are actually using these fields. So back here, I'm going to exit out. Let me run press process one more time. Tinker. And sure enough, it is working. Let me change that back. In the third part of this lesson, we're going to bring it all together and allow for expansion of these fields. Stay tuned.